Yeah. Fuck it. Fuck it. Let's talk about old Craig Patrick, shall we? On the Pittsburgh Penguins. Craig Patrick, 1989 to 2006. Fuck. What did I just sign up for? All right. Oh, my God. There's six pages. Oh, boy. Let's get to it, shall we? Let's get to it. Okay. Now, here's the thing, right? For the ones in the early 90s, it, it's a little bit tough because I didn't live to see them. Okay? So, when we look at the first trade, Dave Capuano, Andrew McBain, and Dan Quinn for Rod Buskis, Barry Peterson, and Tony Tonti, the name I see that sticks out, obviously, Barry Peterson. However, I mean, 22 points in 38 games, 14 points in 46 games. I mean, plus Pittsburgh competing for titles. Pittsburgh wins. <laughs> the end. They also got Doug Smith for cash. I'll probably give... I mean, how bad was Doug Smith, though? That could be a win for Vancouver. Uh, seven points in 30 games. That might be a wash. No disrespect, Doug Smith. That might be a wash. Uh, Alain Chevrier? Uh, Jesus Christ, you didn't do much, did you, buddy? Uh, fuck it. That's that's a win for Chicago because they dodged a bullet. That's a wash at best. Brian Wilkes for future considerations. He never played a game. So, that's a wash. Uh, they got Joe Mullen for a pick that became Nicholas Perot. Uh, Pittsburgh wins. Pittsburgh, what, G this might be the biggest win that we've seen yet. And we looked at Kyle Quincy for Andre Vasilevsky. This might be the biggest one yet. 39 points in 47 games, 87 points, 70 points, 70 points. Jesus Christ alive. That might be the biggest one-sided trade we've seen yet. Poor Nicholas Perot being on the other side of that deal. That sucks. Oh my God. And then they got Gordy Roberts twice. <laughs> Future considerations, Wade Salzman. And then obviously, I mean, it's... Gordy Roberts had 15 points in 61 games, 24 points in 73 games. I mean, yeah, they still they still win that. Uh, Chris Dahlquist and Jim E. Johnson for Larry fucking Murphy. Oh, my God. Craig Patrick, you fucking wizard. This is ridiculous. This is abs... Look at the... How... How dumb were the... What are you doing? It wasn't enough that he got Joe Mullen... Yeah, Minnesota's like, ah, Larry Murphy, too. Go ahead, you go win cups. What the hell? Ha what? Craig Patrick. Craig, I don't know if you're listening or not. Have you ever written a book? And if not, can you please tell me what you had over these GMs? Like, I don't know who the hell the GM was at the time of the North Stars. Let me look. Let me look. Who the hell? Nope, trades by GM. Who the hell was the GM of the Minnesota North Stars at the time? Minnesota. Oh, you don't have it listed? Oh, no, here we go. It was Bobby Clark. <laughs> what did you have on Bobby Clark? What did Bobby do to you? To where you just had to ruin him. Actually, in fairness, that might not have been Bobby Clark. Hold on. Hold on. Did Bobby Clark replace December 11th? Oh, no, Bobby Clark was there. Bobby Clark. Your, your legacy's ruined. As a, like, come on. You traded Larry Murphy to Pittsburgh. What are you doing? What are you do Okay, we gotta move on, because that, that just blew my fucking mind. That they got Joe Mullen and Larry Murphy for nothing. My god, Jim Kite for Yuri Herdina. Considering I've never heard of Jim Kite. Rightfully so, apparently. Uh, it probably goes to Pittsburgh. Herdina didn't do that much, but yeah, Herdina wins. <laughs> Pittsburgh wins that one too. Uh, Rob Brown for Scott Young. Oh, my God. Oh, God. In fairness, Scott Young didn't do anything for... Uh, 27 points in 43 games. What did Rob Brown do in Hartford? Uh, it was Hartford. Hartford didn't do shit. Pittsburgh wins. It's a wash at best for Hartford. Okay. Y you know, You know how people talk about, like, Oh, what's up with people constantly bailing out Chicago? Like, every time Chicago was in cap trouble, some team, like the Arizona Coyotes, would do something stupid and take on a contract or something. Pittsburgh, man. Ron Francis, Alf Samuelson, who can kick rocks, by the way. Screw Alf Samuelson, but I mean, come on. Pittsburgh wins. Uh, Tony Tonti to Buffalo for Ken Priestley. 
Conti actually played games for Buffalo, had 100 penalty minutes in a season, so Buffalo wins that one, but it's a minor deal. Kim Essel for Brad Aiken. Do I even have to look at the stats for that one? Who gives a shit? It's such a minor trade that nobody won. And if somebody did, who cares? Yeah, who cares? Uh, Jell Samuelson, Rick Tockett, Ken Reggett, and a pick that became David Roch for Brian Benning, Mark Recchi, and the pick that became Jason Bowen. Huh, well, considering Mark Recchi, uh, you know, didn't really get to do a whole hell of a lot. I mean, Mark Recchi was a great flyer, though. Ken Reggett, Rick Tockett. That's a tough one to say who won. Let me look at Reggett again. What did you even do in Pittsburgh? Stayed there for a couple of years. I mean, Ken Reggett was in Pittsburgh for a long time after that. Rick Tockett as well. I mean, I think you have to give it to Pittsburgh, but... Can we say... Okay, if you want to call a trade a win-win... I don't even know. What do you... That one, that one's a toss-up to me. I don't know. I mean, Pittsburgh... I, th I think you got to give it to Pittsburgh. I think you have to. But I do love me some Mark Recchi. So, like, that's a 10 out of... Uh, like, what would you call it? Like a 9 out of 10 for Pittsburgh, but like an 8.8 .8 for Philly. And obviously, Stanley Cup's involved. I, I don't know. I don't know. That's a tough one. Because, obviously, Philly ended up going to a cup final while Recchi was there. Actually, no, he was in Montreal at the time. <laughs> Never mind. All right, Pittsburgh wins that one. They do. I love Rocky, but Pittsburgh wins that one. Uh, Paul Coffey. I mean, granted, you sent him there, so it's like, oh, hey, we got Paul Coffey. Let's help convince Gretzky and all that shit. Um, I mean, Pittsburgh got the best player in the deal. Ryan Benning, Jeff Chikrin, father of a current Coyote. I mean, LA wins that one, I'd say. But, you know, here, here's, here's something that people might be... Uh, might be forgetting uh, the old 1992 Penguins were pretty goddamn good. Don't know if you remember this. They were pretty goddamn good. So it's kind of tough for me to be like, oh, well, Pittsburgh loses because they won the goddamn cup. <laughs> Even trading Frank Peter Angelo, which I know he pronounced it Peter Angelo as opposed to Petra Angelo. Don't worry. I know. I know there was some Penguins fan, whether watching this live on the Twitch or on YouTube after the fact, he's like, he's going to say Petra Angelo and I'm going to get him. No, no, you're not. You can get me for other fucking butchered pronunciations like Sven Butenshawn or Serge Alban. Uh, which, I mean, Pittsburgh probably doesn't win that one. I don't know what Peter Angelo ended up doing in Hartford. Uh, and the answer appears to be not a whole hell of a lot. He did okay. Yeah, give it to Hartford. Ryan Fogarty for the rights to Scott Young. Jesus Christ, I still got five pages to go. That's a wash. Fogarty didn't do much. On to page five, but so far, Craig Patrick's a fucking wizard. That's my reaction thus far. Uh, they traded Jeff Chikrin for Peter Ahola. I mean, he played 22 games and then left, whereas Mr. Chikrin at least played in Los Angeles for 26 games. That's a wash. L.A. probably wins. Uh, and then the Sharks, they flipped Peter Ahola to the Sharks. Yeah, uh, L.A. won the Chikrin deal. And, I mean, San Jose... Did you really win if you didn't give up anything in the future? Uh, Bob Airy for Mike Ramsey. I mean, Mike Ramsey played about a... Eh, he played 77 games. Bob Airy in Buffalo didn't do shit. Played eight games. Pittsburgh wins. That's a minor win. Steve Washburn for Peter Taglianetti. Uh, considering Taglianetti has a page to click on and Steve Washburn doesn't, I think we know who won. Uh, Marty McSorley for Sean McEachern. Well... Considering McSorley only played 47 games, Sean McEachern went on to be a pretty goddamn good player. Especially in, uh, especially in Ottawa for one season in Boston. Eh, I'd, I'd consider that a win for Pittsburgh. Ah, maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, well, yeah, you gotta consider it a win for Pittsburgh because he went right back. Los Angeles had him and he went right back to Pittsburgh, so Pittsburgh wins. Paul Stanton for Craig Crozier, I mean... Or Crozier, Stanton. I mean, Stanton has a page. Bruins win. <laughs> uh, they then sent Mark. Jesus Christ. All right, so they sent. They re swapped McSorley and McEachern. Jim Paik went one way, Pike, Paik, whatever. And Thomas Sandstrom went back. 
What e what even was this? What even was this? I mean, sh Pittsburgh wins because Jim Paik didn't stay in Los Angeles for that long. There you go. Uh, Jeff Daniels, great actor. Florida wins. Craig Hoggood, I don't even recognize that name, and he didn't do much. He was a main mariner, though. Never mind. Pittsburgh wins. Mike Needham for Jim McKenzie. Who cares? Rick Tockett in a second, who became Pavel Rosa for Luke Robitaille. Luke Robitaille played 46 games for the Penguins and had 42 points. Rick Tockett in Los Angeles uh, at least played a season's worth of games. It's kind of a wash for that reason. Yeah, it's kind of a wash. You can't really say one one or not. Uh, they got Wendell Young for nothing. Norm McIver and Troy Murray for Martin Straka. I mean, I have to say Ottawa won because they got Straka. Although, he didn't stay for long. But I can't, can I really judge it off of that? I don't know. Ottawa won that. They got the best, they got the best player in the deal by far. Uh, they sent Greg Brown to Winnipeg for nothing, so whatever. Uh, Grant Jennings for Drake Barahowski. I'd give it to Pittsburgh just for Drake Barahowski. Yeah, Jennings played 10 games in Toronto, so Pittsburgh wins that one. Uh, they sent uh, an aging Larry Murphy, but still a good Larry Murphy to Toronto for Dmitry Mironov, who played two seasons before going to the Ducks. Murphy in Toronto, 61 points in 82 games, and they didn't pay him. He left, came back the same year, and then left again. So... Ah, uh, give that one to Toronto. Give that one to Toronto for sure. Bruins get Kevin Stevens and Sean McEachern for Glenn Murray, Brian Smolinski, and Boyd Kane. Kevin Stevens at the time, I mean, 23 points in 41 games, but he left. Sean McEachern, again, had a great season, 53 points, but he left. Uh, Glenn Murray in Pittsburgh didn't stay for long before going to L.A. Brian Smolinski backed her up, you know, he bounced around too. But, I mean, if, I, if you had to say, like, oh, Kevin Stevens in 95 and Sean McEachern or Glenn Murray and Smolinski, I'd probably rather have who Pittsburgh had. Probably. I mean, Kevin Stevens wasn't the 100-plus point guy that he was just a few seasons before that. So, slight edge to Pittsburgh. Peter Nedved and Sergei Zuboff for Luke Robitaille and Alf Samuelson. Uh, well, again, Alf Samuelson can kick rocks. Nedved only lasted two seasons in Pittsburgh before jumping to the Rangers... Sergey Zuboff only lasted a season before being dealt to Dallas. It's kind of a wash. Great talent going both ways, but nobody really did anything while they were on those teams. So, uh, Norm McIver for Neil Wilkinson, who gives a shit. D sorry to those two, but, you know. Uh, Dave, Mc Mc Dave McDonald for Eric with an... Really? Eric? Who cares? Uh, Kevin Miller, well, considering Mr. Abrahamson doesn't have a page, Pittsburgh wins. So, we've gotten to the boring part of Craig Patrick's tenure, I see. Uh, Steven Wagner for Jean-Jacques Daniel. Uh, we'll give it to old Jean-Jacques. I mean, it's a wash. He didn't do shit in Pittsburgh, so who cares? Uh, <laughs> Alright, Craig, uh, your reputation's starting to precede you a little bit. Your reputation's starting to be a little bit questionable. You did great fleecing GMs in the early 90s, but now it's 1996, and you dealt Marcus Naslin to Vancouver. I knew we'd get to this trade. I don't, I don't think we need to talk about this, do we? I don't think we do. I think that speaks for itself, right? That might be... We, we have already seen some one-sided trades. That might be the most one-sided trade I think I've seen yet. Close. Which is, which is hilarious... When you consider back over here, we were talking about Larry Murphy and Ron Francis being dealt. So I don't know, man. It's a it's a tale of it's a tale of two halves of the decade so far for Craig Patrick. Uh, they dealt Sergey Zuboff to Dallas, who was a great star. He won the cup there. Uh, Kevin Hatcher in Pittsburgh. I love me some Kevin Hatcher, but he was only there for three years. So I think you got to give it to Dallas with Zuboff, but it's not as if Pittsburgh, you know, blew it. I mean, Kevin Hatcher was still a really good player. Josh DeWolf and Colin White for Pavel Skrbek. I mean, Colin White was a solid devil, and he won multiple cups there. So New Jersey wins that, hands down. Hands down. Which also means I probably shouldn't discount players just because they don't have a page, because how disrespectful for them to not have a direct click to Colin White. Unless that's magically not the Colin White defenseman, but it probably is. Uh, Brian LaFrance for Tyler Wright. Who cares? Uh, Peter Klima. 
the hockey guy's favorite, Peter Klima. I mean, I, it's a wash. Who cares? Uh, Andreas Johansson and Darius Kasparaitis for Brian Smolinski. Smolinski was on the Islanders for three seasons. It's not bad. Of course, this was in the Mike Milbury years. Kasparaitis was in Pittsburgh for quite a while, though. I mean, maybe give the slight edge to Pittsburgh. It's really Kasparaitis against Smolinski. You could debate who you'd rather have. I'd call it a wash. I don't think you can say either guy really won the trade. Either team really won. Uh, Antonovsky and Miranoff for Hickson and Lawson. Fuck. Who, who cares? <laughs> who cares? That's my argument. Chris Wells for Stu Barnes and Jason Woolley. Uh, considering I know who Stu Barnes and Jason Woolley are and don't know who Chris Wells is. Uh, former Seattle T-Bird, though. He's got that going for him. But, yeah, Pittsburgh wins that one. Thomas Sandstrom for Greg Johnson. Sandstrom only played one year in Detroit. Granted, he won the cup that year. Actually, he didn't because he got dealt to Pittsburgh. Wait, what? Oh, okay, I think it has his time in Pittsburgh listed before his time in Detroit. Pretty sure he was a part of that cup winning team. Uh, and Greg Johnson in Pittsburgh was only there for two seasons that I see before going to Nashville. So, Detroit wins that one. Uh, Jean-Jacques Daniel for Gary Volk. It's a wash. Come on, it's a minor trade. It's not, I don't think Daniel was there until, you know, the cup runs in 03, so, and he wasn't. Uh, Rick Bertrand for Josef Baranek. Who cares? Uh, they, I'm sorry, you lost the Glenn Murray trade. You do not trade 1997 Glenn Murray for Eddie Olchek. I am very much biased because Glenn Murray is one of my favorite players of all time and is super underrated, but come on, you, you don't do that. And as it is, Eddie O played less than a season's worth of hockey there before going to Chicago. So, yeah, that's a that's a massive loss. And Glenn Murray wasn't even there for that long before going back to the Bruins. It's just kind of what he did. Bounce between L.A., Pittsburgh, and Boston. But, yeah, it's a major loss. Uh, they also gave up Richard Park for Roman Oxyuda. Who the fuck is this guy? Seven games. Yeah, you, no, you gave up Richard Park. Who, in fairness, didn't even stay in Anaheim, but you gave up the better player. It's kind of a wash, but, yeah, Richard Park. Uh, the pick that became Brian Gianna for Yuri Slager. Now, obviously, Edmonton didn't keep Brian Gianna. Yuri Slager was pretty good. I got to see him play, you know, when I was younger. He played that one season in Boston. Slager was pretty good for the Penguins. I can't really judge that trade because I don't know what Edmonton got for Gianna. I mean, I guess I can look, but... I mean, it really comes down to what it was. Did he ever doesn't even have anything listed for trades. Did he just never sign with Edmonton out of college and just sign with New Jersey? I honestly don't know. So, there you go. There's your homework for the day. But, I mean, I give that trade to Pittsburgh. Jason Woolley for Rob Scuderi. Uh, again, Jason Woolley wasn't that bad. But, I mean, I see the name Rob Scuderi and I'm like, yes, I'd rather have Rob Scuderi. Even though his career kind of fizzled. So, where was that trade to? That was to Buffalo. Woolley was in Buffalo for quite a while. Uh, unfortunately, they don't have the page up for Rob Scuderi, so that is what it is. But, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of even. I'd probably give it to the Penguins for Scuderi, though. Actually, Scuderi was there for quite a while, too, wasn't he? Ah, who cares? Give it to Scuderi. Francis LaRue for David Cameron. Who cares? Greg Johnson for Thomas Gronman. Who cares? Uh, the rights to Patrick Laleem goes to Anaheim for Sean Pronger. Yeah, Anaheim wins that one. And then the rights to Joseph Baranek for Bobby Dallas. I'd give it to Pittsburgh, but it's a wash. It's a minor deal. We're halfway there, folks. We're halfway there. Uh, David Rock and Ken Reggett for Thomas Hlushko and German Titov. 1998 Ken Reggett, though. Titov didn't spend much time in Pittsburgh. He had a 56-point season, 42-point season, then went to the Ducks. Kind of a wash. Uh, neither of the other two that went to Calgary stayed there. So it goes to Pittsburgh, but it wasn't a massive win. Uh, you know, again, Titoff didn't stay there for long. Two seasons. Oh boy, here we go. Kovalev, Harry York, and future considerations to Pittsburgh for Peter Nedved, Shad Prager, and Chris Tamer. So basically, Kovalev against Nedved. Kovalev in Pittsburgh, I mean, he stayed there for a few seasons and did quite well. 66 points, 95, 76. Whereas Peter Nedved... Was a Ranger for quite a while. 47 points, 68, 78, 40, 50. That's kind, of, that's kind of a wash. I mean, neither team managed to win at the time. It's just two great players. I mean, if you were to be like, oh, who would you rather have? I guess throughout their history, probably Kovalev. 
but it's just kind of a wash. I, it, like, if either one of the, you know, of the pieces tacked on, at, you know, did anything, then you could probably lean it one way or another, but I'd have it be 50-50. Uh, Sean O'Brien, I'm sure Philly wins. Stu Barnes for Matthew Barnaby. Uh, Barnaby spent a little bit of time in Pittsburgh. I mean, they were both enforcers. In fairness, Barnes actually... See, there you go. You want to talk about players doing extremely well in junior? Look at that. And in fairness, he did have a 40-point season, a 60-point season. Probably give it to, uh... I don't know. Kind of a wash. Kind of a wash. I like Matthew Barnaby. But Stu Barnes was the more capable offensive player, so I guess it goes to Buffalo. Uh, Brent Peterson. That's... Who cares? Uh, they traded Kevin Hatcher for Peter Popovich. I mean, Hatcher didn't play much longer. He played one season in New York, but still, he wins. Because Peter Popovich. Can I get a McGregor? No. Uh, Kip Miller for Roman Stimacek. Miller didn't really spend any time in Anaheim. 30 games. 20, 23 points in 30 games. Jesus. And then, like, rarely made it back. Did well in the aisle. What the fuck? What the hell happened to Kip Miller? So he gets dealt to Anaheim, has 23 points in 30 games, plays half the season in the NHL, 24 points in 37 games at the Islanders, 50 points in 72 games for the Caps, 31 points, and then just never made it back to the NHL after the lockout. That's insane. He was a 30, 40, 50 point guy and just never made it back after the lockout? I mean, Anaheim wins that, but shit. The law, Kip Miller, if you're out there, write a Players' Tribune article. What the hell happened? Uh, Pavel Skorbek for Bob Bugner. The Boogs. Kind of a wash, though, right? I mean, Pavel Skorbek never really stuck around in Nashville. So Pittsburgh wins by default, but it's a wash. Uh, Yanni Laukinen and Ron Tugnut for Tom Barrasso. Ottawa had Tom Barrasso for one season, and then he left. Ron Tugnut was towards the end of his career. He stayed for one season and then left. And Yanni Laukinen played a couple of seasons for Pittsburgh. So Pittsburgh wins. Laukinen was the big get there. Which is shocking. <laughs> uh, Brad Warenka for Rene Corbet and Tyler Moss. Warenka played two seasons in Calgary and then retired. Corbet never played in Pitt. Ah, he played. He played. Look at him. 47 games. Good stuff, and Tyler Moss. Why is this text got to be so small, man? Uh, Moss never did anything. It's so a kind of a wash. Rankin and Corbett were both okay. Uh, Bill Cass for Dan Tribble, who cares? German Titoff for Baranek. He stayed there for a little bit. Probably give that to Ottawa. Or to Ottawa, to Edmonton. Then again, he didn't even stay. I guess it goes to Pittsburgh, but it's kind of a wash. Christian Lerivi for Michel Lulay and David Kochi. Uh, considering I know who these two are, Pittsburgh wins. Dan Tribble for Roman Kukuta. Who cares? Dan Tribble. Jesus Christ, what's up with Dan Tribble? Too much Dan Tribble. Dan Tribble for Mark Bergevin. St. Louis wins because they got rid of Mark Bergevin. Uh, Bergevin was an okay player, but still, let me let me embrace the memes. Uh, Roman Simicek for Steve McKenna. Who cares? Yuri Slager for Aaron Johnson. Aaron Johnson was okay, but I'd give it to Slager. Slager was definitely better in uh, Atlanta. And then... They traded Aaron Johnson for Christoph Oliwa, which is kind of a wash because it was Christoph Oliwa. <laughs> so, sorry to the enforcer. He'd punch my face in. Uh, they got a very old at the time. Kevin Stevens back for his retirement tour. He had 23 points in 32 games. John Slaney spent a decent amount of time in the Flyers organization. Ah, he was a really good AHLer. Ah, kind of a wash. Stevens is more effective at the NHL level. And then they uh, flip Barnaby to Tampa for Wayne Primo. And, I mean, yeah, you'd, you'd rather have Wayne Primo, even if Primo didn't stay there long. So, kind of a wash in that I know Barnaby wasn't on Tampa for long. Two seasons. Uh, I, give it to, uh, I give it to Pittsburgh for Primo, though. Two more pages. We're almost there. I'm going to cry if I found out the Spotify was on the whole time. Uh, Jeff Norton for Bobby Dallas and Johan Hedberg. So Jeff Norton... Uh, played in San Jose for a little bit, not too long. Bobby Dallas didn't really do much in Pittsburgh. He played five games. And Johan Hedberg didn't really spend much time in Pittsburgh either. Three seasons and then went to Atlanta. So probably give it to Pittsburgh just for Hedberg. 
Scott Horvath for Frantisek who cares uh, that's your name because they dealt it they reacquired him twice Sven Butenshawn for Dan Lacator uh, Butenshawn at Edmonton two seasons played barely over 20 games Dan Lacator yeah Pittsburgh wins wasn't a major win I do love me some Dan Lacator though here we go so waiting for this one so, so far, we're, uh, in terms of big trades by Craig Patrick, we're 2-1 to one in favor of the good, but then you get to the Yermir Yager trade, and now we're 3-2 to two into the bad, because it's that bad of a trade. Yager for Chris Beach, Ross Lupashuk, and Michal Sivik. Or Michael Sivik. I mean, come on. It speaks for itself, doesn't it? It speaks for itself. I mean, come on. So, at best, Craig Patrick, you're, you're in the middle here now, buddy. You're in the middle. You've had two amazing trades and two really bad trades. Let's keep going. We still got four year, four more years of Patrick. Uh, Mark Moore for Burt Robertson. Who cares? Kevin Yarman for Jamie Pusher. Pusher was okay. Pittsburgh wins. Kent Manderville wins for the name alone. Uh, Darius Kasparitis for Rick Berry and Billy Neiman. Billy Neiman wasn't bad, but he went to Minnesota pretty quickly, didn't he? Okay, you're just not going to open up a page for him. Billy Neiman wins because Darius Kasparitis. Okay, I think we broke that feature. Kasparitis was older in 2002. So, Neiman or a wash. Stefan Riche for Steven Dixon. It's a wash. Parsons for... It's a wash. Oliwa. Who cares? It's a whole lot of nothing right now. Uh, woo -hoo. Oh, Craig. Craig, buddy. Pal. You're struggling here. You're taking on water. Andrew Ferentz for Brian Gifford. Uh, I think we're 3-2 to two in the bad. I think Craig Patrick is now towards the worst end of the spectrum. He gave up Andrew Ferentz for nothing, man. Ferentz went to a cup final with that team. Sorry, Flames fans, for bringing that up. Oh, boy. Riku Fada, Richard Lintner, Mikhail Samuelson, and Joel Bouchard with cash for Kovalev, Lakator, Laukinen, and Michael Wilson. Is that feature broken? It appears to be. I have broken it. Uh, so I don't know how long Fada... I mean, Fada was there for a while. Samuelson, I think, was there for a bit, but he bounced around. Kovalev, Lakator. I mean... Kind of a wash. You could say the Rangers win just for the fact that they got Kovalev back, but it was Kovalev in 2003. So, I don't know. Without being able to see the stats and without having to type in a shitload of stuff, I'd probably just give it to the Rangers by default. But I don't know how long Kovalev stayed for. Uh, they gave up Randy Robitaille for nothing, basically. So, they lost that one. Traded Wayne Primo for Matt Bradley. Bradley was okay. But, I mean, Wayne Primo. And then the Sharks fucking turn that into Joe Thornton. But we don't have to talk about that because I don't want to cry myself to sleep tonight. Bruins get Ian Moran for Paul Bissonnette. I love Paul Bissonnette. But he didn't do anything in Pittsburgh. And Ian Moran is the man. So the Bruins won that one. Uh, Yaron Herdina and Francois Leroux for Ramsey Abid, Dan Foch, and Guillaume Lefebvre. Uh, Abid, I mean, Pitt, that's kind of a wash. Give it to Pittsburgh. Uh, Sean Donovan from Mickey DuPont, Matthias Johansson. I mean, you gave up Sean Donovan. <sighs> Patrick, you need a big move here. It can't just be enough that you were in charge when Crosby was drafted. In terms of your draft history, you're in, you're closer to the negatives right now, especially after the Ferentz and Donovan moves that really boosted up Calgary before their cup run the next year. So I need something. You did trade away Mark Bergevin for Brian Holzinger, which Holzinger was okay, but I recognize him more as a cap. It's kind of a wash, really. And then later on, you reacquired him for... Okay, so yeah, Pittsburgh wins. Because you got Bar, you got Bergevin and Holzinger, essentially, for a ninth-round pick. Pittsburgh wins. Okay. Okay. Mikhail Samuelson, Nathan Horton, and Stefan Meyer for Marc-Andre Fleury and Dan Carcillo. Or at least the pick that became Dan Carcillo. Pittsburgh wins. <laughs> Craig, you're back in the positives, buddy. Samuelson, again, was one of those really strong players. Like NHL 12, it's like, oh, I gotta sign Mikhail Samuelson. He was solid, right? Nathan Horton was great, and then obviously got dealt to the Bruins. You got Marc-Andre Fleury. And even if he wasn't around for any of the cup wins, he got Marc-Andre Fleury onto that team. So Pittsburgh wins that trade, and Craig, you are back at the very least into the middle of the spectrum, maybe towards the good because of what Mark andre Fleury did in Pittsburgh. Uh, and you know what? No, if you weren't in the good before, you're in the good now because you traded Johan Hedberg for Alex Goligoski, which again, that feature's still broken. All of a sudden, I broke it. Emmy, can you not whine, please? Uh, but yeah, you got Goligoski for Hedberg, so... 
And then you dealt Martin Straka for two nobodies. Middle of the spectrum for now. Maybe slightly in their favor. Uh, Mike Mahler for Pat Hughes, meh. Brendan Buckley, meh. Drake Barahowski for Richard Jackman. Barahowski wasn't that bad in Toronto, but I can't recall how good Richard Jackman was in Pittsburgh, so I'll call that an even. Maybe the slight edge to Toronto, just off of memory here. Landon Wilson for nothing, nothing trade. Holzinger for nothing. You dealt Mark Bergevin to Vancouver, so you got rid of that curse. You got Jocelyn T-Ball for nothing, which is pretty sweet. Uh, you traded away Chris Beach for nothing. All right, that kind of cancels out. Boganecki for Steve Popst kind of cancels out. They were similar players. Peter Ashton for Eric Hans. Slight win for Pittsburgh. Dick Tarnstrom for Corey Cross and Yanni Rita. I mean, Dick Tarnstrom is probably the best player in that deal, but I'd consider it a wash without looking at uh, the info. And they dealt Corey Cross for a fourth. Okay, so yeah, they kind of lost the Tarnstrom deal. And then they dealt Mark Recchi for Chris Colanos, Nordgren, and Kevin Marshall, and that was the deal that put the Hurricanes over the edge to win the Cup that year. And that's that. And then they dealt Richard Jackman. So overall, I mean, I don't know if we've been keeping a counter. <laughs> Maybe that's what I should do as the special feature of the video, to be like, okay, here's the wins, the draws, and the losses. I mean, overall... There were some big wins and there were some big losses that kind of even even each other out. Again, it's like you look at the, the deals to Calgary, you look at the fact that he dealt Mark Recchi to Carolina, and that was really one of the moves that put them over the edge to win the cup, if not the move. He started off strong, but then you look at the you know the moves to get Goligoski and Mark Andre Fleury. Like if I were to sit here and be like, Craig Patrick, good GM. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Can can he be considered a great GM when you look at some of the more negative moves like the Yager trade? Like, there's no doubt. There were some great moves in there, especially in the early 90s, to add what he added, and then, of course, Flurry later on. But then you look at some of the other deals. The Yager deal, I think the Recky deal that literally led to a team winning the Cup is a bad move. I don't know. That's a real interesting one. Where I think you kind of take the good with the bad because the good, very early on, led to a cup. Cups. And the good, later on, led to cups with Marc-Andre Fleury. But, man, the bad was pretty bad. So, I don't know. Overall, Craig Patrick, good. At worst, thumbs in the middle. At best, 8 out of 10? Like, it, it depends on how much you want to scale his great moves. Do his great moves that won multiple cups outweigh the bad moves? Even if in those cases some of the bad moves, the recce deal, led to that team winning a cup? Probably. So Craig Patrick, good job. 8 or 9 out of 10. I think just because the amount of cups that went to Pittsburgh because of some of the players that he acquired... Yeah, and then not to mention he was in charge when Crosby was drafted. But again, we're not looking at picks. We're looking at trades. So yeah, again, this video goes up on YouTube. Video's over.